I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a low impact cardio hit workout. We're going to burn fat in a really fun way. We're taking a Tabata format. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We'll do each exercise once. Then we're going to move into a 30 second round, each exercise for 30 seconds. Then 40 seconds, which is an endurance round, and then we'll work back down that ladder with a 30 second round and a 20 second round. It's a lot of fun, very popular format on this channel. If you like that type of workout where we burn fat, build lean muscle, increase your metabolism over time, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Let's go. Time to burn some fat. Bring your knees up, swing those arms, big movements, deep breaths, oxygenate that blood. It's pumping out to those muscles right now. The muscles want oxygen for fuel. When they're burning oxygen for fuel, you're burning fat. So, get it going here. And this is cardio, so this heart rate will be pumping the whole time, I promise. Reach out. We've got eight exercises. We'll do them 20 seconds each, then 30, then 40, then 30, then 20. So we have 10 second rests between each. If you need a longer rest, take a longer rest, especially as we get up into that endurance 40 second rounds. And I'll remind you then too, if you feel like your heart rate is too high, having trouble talking, saying a sentence, you need to dial it back a little bit, and that just means end, you know, 10 seconds early in the exercise so that you increase your rest time. So that 10 seconds becomes 25 seconds. That will give you a little bit more recovery. Grab two weights, starting with a deadlift, weight in the heels as you come up, elbows lead, weight up to the chest, up and down. Now I am leaning weight in my heels as I come up, drive my hips forward, so hips back, Hips forward, hips back, and forward. Leading with those elbows is going to keep that weight at chest level. Do not twist it that way, okay? I'm going to pull it up leading with those elbows. Okay, I'm going to skate and punch the weight down. So it's a push and a pull. We'll start with your right arm first, so step to your left. Push, pull. Bring that toe and back. Get low if you can. I'm going to protect those knee joints. And the knee pain, you just stand it up here. Most moves, almost all of them, can be modified so that you can do my videos. And I'm all about giving you those modifications. Every video from the past couple months, I've really focused on that and moving forward definitely. All right, hammer curl with the leg lift. Here we go. Lift, other side, lift. started doing workouts really regularly in the late 30s so when I became a trainer soccer kicks with a chop right at about 40 so that was 19 years ago and I did ready right leg first chop across chop I did high impact hit sometimes more than once because I was running classes in my gyms so I did that high impact work and I am feeling it but not in a good way. So that's kind of where this channel has evolved to, which is keeping you safe. Okay? I want you to protect your joints. Even if you can do it, if it doesn't hurt jumping around, you want to do a minimum push and twist. Minimum high impact. Like if you're a runner, run a couple days a week, you do this low impact work opposite the running. Is that high impact work every day. You can do it now, perhaps. If you're younger, in your 40s, in that range. Whew, all right. Rear leg lift, the bicep curl. But you want to be able to do exercise well into your later years. Here we go. Curl it, curl it. So by having safe moves, you're going to keep your joints healthy longer, hopefully a lot longer. And if you're struggling with 
painful joints, this strength work, the modifications even, will increase your muscle tone, which can help with that level of pain. You're gonna lift to a kickback, right here, lift, other side. This is the back of your arm. I want you to feel in the tricep, drop the shoulders, don't lift them up near your knees, knees right in your ears. <laughs> that would be interesting. Not up by your knee ears, okay? So you wanna say knees. And let those shoulders be fairly relaxed here. Good. All right, for this last one, we're going with one leg. We're going to put our feet together. You're going to hinge, slight bend, or deep bend. Suitcase swing, one side. Come up, other side. Here's modification. Keep the weight in your heels. Flat back, abs tight, and head above your heart. You can do the bending. Get as low as you can as you come up. Drive the hips forward and squeeze. All right, moving on to our 30 second round. Starting at the top, holding both weights, deadlift to high row. You want to slow down the pace a little bit because this is 30 seconds. It's not a sprint and it's not a jog. It's kind of in between. Down and up, confusing the body, making the heart do something different than it did for the last couple minutes. Keep it guessing. See how that feels longer? Watch your form. And up. Good. All right, skate and punch. Punching with the right. Push and pull, remember? Step into your left. Ready? Here we go. Push it, pull it. Push it, pull it. Just like that. And bring that toe way back if you can. Go deep in this if you'd like. It feels good. Otherwise, up top is fine. You're still activating the muscles. They're still doing work. And as it gets stronger, you may find you can get a little lower. Good. All right, ready? Hammer curl with the leg raise. Slowing down the pace again a little bit, right? Because we want to go for the full 30 seconds we can. Here we go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. See how many rounds I can get through without mixing up the exercises. They're right up there. You can see what's next. I can too, but I look quick. I've been known to miss one, and we will go back and finish. Don't worry. Anything we might miss, we'll get. I'm gonna put one weight down with a soccer kick. kick. Just a little easier, a little less weight. Kick it, kick it. A little easier to chop. We'll go with your right leg first, ready? Chop it. Feel those glutes stretch right there? Ready? Let me get some glute work. Oh, we're contracting them. We already have. Squeezing as we come up out of, say, the deadlift. Get it out. We'll do a little more here in the second half than we did in the first. Good. Grabbing my two weights now for that Alton press. Here's that glute work. Squeeze the bun. Press with your right arm first. Ready? Deep breath. Here you go. Push in. Push. Abs tight. Work that core. Work those holds. Full press. All right, not too fast. Resistance, this weight. That's the heart rate where we need it. We don't need to speed along. And rest. Whew. All right, ready for those rear leg lifts into the glute in the back with the bicep curls. Deep breath, right leg first. Ready, here we go. Curl, elbows in. My standing leg has a little bend in it. You can't even see the bend, but it means it's not locked. Don't lock your leg, get your balance before you raise that leg up in the back. Try to rush it, and then we lose our balance. We want to do this balance work. So important. Putting those biceps to pretty arms. 
we'll lift and lift. Hit the biceps, let's do the triceps. Deep breath. We're getting there. Here we go. Tricep lift. Kick it back. Lift. Lift. Shoulders down. Tends to go like that. Lift it up. Relax the shoulders. Make the tricep, the back of your arm, do the work here. Came out a little fast on this one. I'm going to pace myself. I'm going to share if I pace myself in the next round, and you will too. We will slow it down. So we go into endurance. At the top of this ladder. And we'll start going back down the other side. We call it a pyramid two. One way down. And back up. And back down. 40 minute, 40 second rounds at the top. Feet together, hand your squat. Swing, and up. That's tight. Drive the hips forward, feel the even thigh engage there. As you squeeze those glutes, you'll feel it. You can just spread your legs a little bit for balance. Just watch the knees. Keep that weight wide enough. You're not hitting those knees. There it is. All right, you ready for the tough one? Ready as we'll ever be because we are here. All right, from the top, 40 seconds. Slow it down. Think about the moves. Deadlift to row. Down, row it up. Hinge down, weight in your heels. You're warmed up now. Really hinge, feel the back of your legs. Hips back, then hips forward and squeeze. Remember leading with the elbows. So that, that weight stays at chest level. So it's if you had a bar across and you're holding one bar, it's kind of how you're holding these weights. Nice flat back. Look about five feet in front of you. That'll keep your neck nice and aligned. There we go, endurance round one is up. Now, like I said, if you need to stop 10 seconds early, 15 seconds early, Take that extra rest, all right? I want you to stay with us. Punching your right arm, skate and punch. Push and pull. In the beginning, rests are necessary. I mean, rests are necessary always, but especially in the beginning. I've seen it so many times, coming on too strong. Have some kindness to yourself, <laughs> you know? Be kind, you don't need to beat yourself up. I want you to ease into a nice, doable program where over time you are going to get the results. So just stick with me. It's all about consistency. Good. All right, onto that hammer curl, side leg raise. A lot of glute here, nice and slow. So consistency. And get four or five days a week, strength and cardio work. Maybe a couple days of strength, a couple days of cardio, or a workout like this kind of combines them both. And if you don't have 30 minutes, it's a 30 minute workout. There are 10 minute workouts and 15 minute workouts on the channel. They're very targeted. So for example, a 10 minute glute workout, all glute. 10 minute shoulder, all shoulder. Do a 10 minute workout, consistency. I know you can find 10 minutes in your day. And your body then will start to like exercise. I know you're saying, yeah, fat chance, Rhoda. I mean it. I see it. I've worked with clients for 20 years. That switch happens and it's likable. It's likable again, like when we were kids. Ready? Soccer kick. And all we want to do is go out and play. Use our bodies. You can get back there where it feels good and it's fun. Not to mention, you're going to get results. And that's really fun. Looking and feeling good and strong and healthy. That's my goal for all of us. Doesn't mean we're not gonna have road bumps, right? I've already had a couple. But when you're healthy, you want to use that press overhead. When you're healthy, for example, cancer diagnosis, I went through surgery, ready, twist and press. I'm gonna recover from that surgery quicker than someone who's been on the couch for the last 20 years, right? 
And if that's you and you're here now, that's fantastic because every day you're getting healthier and healthier and stronger and stronger. So when you face something that is not a welcome trade, you have the strength and the endurance to fight. That's what it's all about. Fighting through it, working hard, staying healthy, and getting back to health. So, you have that bump in the road, bicep curl with the rear. You're gonna have to take a break at that point probably, right? I know I did. But, when I get back to it, it's easy because I had the lean muscle, I had the cardio endurance, took six weeks off, maybe lost a little bit, but within two to three weeks, right back to where I was, versus not having exercised, having a major surgery. I have seen this, and it's very sad. Never getting back to where you were before the surgery. In some cases, that's because of the surgery. But in many cases, it's because of the lack of conditioning. So, give yourself a fighting chance, right? Okay, lecture's over. I get on my soapbox, I know. But it's worth thinking about, you know? Because here you are, lift and breath, lift. Twist and lift. Here you are doing something good for yourself and I want to encourage you to keep going. If this is your first workout ever, or in a long time, and you wake up sore tomorrow, go to the stretch playlist on the channel. There are anywhere from seven to a 10 minute stretch. I just want you to march in place for maybe two to three minutes before you do a stretch, get the blood to the muscles, and then stretch, recover. And then come back next time you do the work, hopefully on the third day, you're never gonna be as sore again. All right, good. Suitcase, I love this one. Feet together or as close as you can possibly do it. Hinge or squat, swing your weight. Ready? Switch hands. The hard part is over. You are over the hump here. So our last 40 second round. So funny in this type of workout, this format that I kind of put together. I'm sure someone else has done this before, but I just kind of thought this is a cool idea. A couple months ago, people seem to like it. This, the 30 second rounds and the 20 second rounds coming up, they're gonna seem easy. And remember, easier. Anyway, when we did them the first time, they seemed hard. But now we're very warmed up. We've got the moves. And now it's gonna be short, comparatively. It's 40 seconds, good. All right, so far so good. I haven't skipped an exercise. On to our deadlift, high row. Weight in your heels, hips go back. Weight close to the body, pull it up, close to the body, elbows lead. You feel the back of the shoulders, the top of the shoulders, squeezing here. On a 30 second round, so I'm picking up the pace just a little bit. And we're just jogging, and our next round will be sprinting, but this is somewhere in between. Good. Onto our skaters, one of my favorites, also, along with the Suki swing. Punching and pushing and pulling with your right arm first, step and left. Here we go. Push and pull. Get low if you can. Bottom where it feels good, no pain. Okay. Back out of any pain. If it's painful here, you're going to step higher. One thing that my clients do is sleep in compression. If your knees bother them, you know those compression sleeves that you put up over your leg and they wrap around your knee. Good. And under a hammer. When you wear them during the day, you can cut off blood flow. It's certainly hard to bend your knees. And the back of your leg gets sore, right? Actually, the best time to wear that is overnight. Put that compression sleeve on before bed. You sleep in it, it keeps your joint very stable overnight. The time that you're in bed is healing and recovery time. So you're helping with that by keeping it nice and still with that compression right where it needs to be. So it has all that time to focus on healing versus during the day 
when you're moving around, and it can help it feel better during the day. I, I can agree with that. But when we down on your hips, overnight is really where the healing happens. So think about trying that if you're not doing that and have any problems. Kick it out. Can you hear me? Humming and bumping. This is a hard workout, I know that. I want you to do it anyways. <laughs> Take a longer rest, use lighter weight, do these without weight, do, find where it's doable for you. And before you know it, here you are. You will be doing the whole thing. All right, twist and press. Squeeze the glute, work the buns. Twist, twist. Come on, let's go. You got it about six minutes and you're done. Not even. So we have rest. Good. Then, lots of shoulder work. Pretty shoulders. Makes everything look good. And hammer curl, or I'm sorry, bicep curl. Rear leg lift. Ready? Deep breath. Here we go. Slow it down if you need to. Take a longer rest. Feeling accomplished yet? Are you feeling proud yet? I say to my clients all the time, I'm so proud of you, and I totally mean it. This is hard, all right? Be proud. Be proud of doing something good for you. Try some kickbacks. And make the rest of your day better. Or if it's nighttime, you're gonna sleep well. One thing about exercise in the evening. A lot of people need a couple hours after exercise before they go to sleep. It can interfere with sleep if you do it way too late, like if you exercise and go right to bed. Now I know people that can do that, and it works out great for them, but if you find you're not sleeping well after an evening workout, put a little more space between the workout and your bedtime if you can. And that doesn't mean extend your bedtime. That means try and do your workout a little earlier because rest is number one. Rest, hydration, good food, exercise. Ready? Swing it. Those four things can improve your life. Like, I can't even tell you. I, uh, like I said, I've been doing this a long time. I've seen so many women be successful. They change their lives. They really do. They gain the confidence to go find a new job. Better able to run around after their kids, which is a lot. <laughs> Those of us that have done it know. All right, you ready? Wrap it around. Here's your sprint. Give me all you got. A little left in the tank. Push it if you can, okay? Down and up. Down and up. Slow this down if you need to. If you've been with me a while and you can pick up the pace in this last round, well, let's do it. punch. So far so good. Haven't missed one. At least I don't think I have. <laughs> if I did, I don't remember it. I didn't catch it. Ready? Skating punch. Punch it. Let's move. Come on. That was tight. Feel them work? Come on. Deep breath. Remember, get those feet under you, though, before you lift the other side. Here it goes. Lift it. My glutes are burning. Are your glutes burning? I hope so. They should be. Stretch, we'll kick your right leg first, chopping over. 
Here we go. Chop it. Chop. Pick it up. Come on. Yell up and I'm up and hear it. I don't know if you can hear it. Sometimes you can. It's there. Trust me. Good. Back to our two weights. Alternating press and twist. Back to the glute, but it's the back, not the side. Larger muscle, a little easier. Here we go. Press. Remember how we were going slow in our 40 second round. This round, I want you to move it. You can, okay? Got it. All right. Three or four rounds left. Three. After this, one minute of work. You got it. Come on, push hard. You hear that background noise? That is actually the wind. All my doors and windows open. Here we go. Ready? It's summertime. It's a chilly day. Kind of nice. I have to do some painting. I have to paint a deck. So. Windy's not good, but cooler's good, for sure. Good. All right. I'm going to put it down and do one more round, but we do have those strikes at the back, don't we? All right. A little speed with me. Dance. Make it a dance. Have fun. Lift. Lift. You're like, Rhoda, have fun. You've been hard. I know, but we're almost done. That alone is fun. stretch. Like I was saying earlier, there's a stretch playlist on the channel. Hop over there, find something a little longer because our stretch is only going to be in two and a half minutes or so. You really should stretch longer than that. It's hard because we're busy. So we do these workouts and like, not enough stretching. It's kind of something that we sacrifice. You did it. Good for you. But we shouldn't. So if you have the time, step back to up. And I know we're busy. And you said 30 minutes, I can fit that in, but I can't fit in the stretch. Do the stretch with me right here. And maybe it's earlier in your day, later in the day, start to feel yourself getting a little tight. Maybe then you can just do some of these moves here and elongate those muscles. Reach up and over, really lean out of this. Arm is back. And let's go to the other side. Good. And we'll take the hands clasp in front, round your shoulders forward, stretching across the upper back. This is a slouched position. You want to do this stretch before you do a stretch where you take your shoulders back. Because this is what we want to do to counteract the fact that we sit at desks, many of us, to work, hunched over a computer. So this takes those muscles in the opposite direction. Pat yourself on the back, let's stretch out those triceps. We have five rounds of triceps there. Our rate should be coming down into the normal range. Let's switch sides. Fantastic, bring the arms down, let's roll the shoulders, big shoulder rolls, relax your neck. Let's go the other direction. And then let's just take the ear in towards one shoulder. And we're going to stretch along the side of the neck. We held those weights for 30 minutes. Thanks to put some strain on the neck. So we'll work that out a little bit. Bring your head up and then just drop it. Bring it back up slowly. Take a deep breath. Big smile. Deep breath. Exhale. One more time. Deep breath. And exhale. Pat yourself on the back. Thumbs up from me. Congratulations. 
please come back often. I will be here for you. We have new video content every single week. Subscribe to the channel and that content will show up on your YouTube page when you open YouTube. Have a great day.